So we're on to the uh, Junior SM90 Bambinos. They're on circuit now. Quite a few of them, and here a lot of two-strokes in the air as well. I think that's the bikes in the paddock behind me. But uh, your grid as follows. You've got George uh, Bowers in first place. Uh, Osif Mosi, uh, Mosiga in second. Uh, Thomas Bond in third. Mason Greasley in fourth place. Daniel Stevenson in fifth. George Wood in sixth place with Ruby Reef in seventh. Ralph Croft in eighth place. George Bartley in ninth place. And Billy Carter rounding out your top ten. Going on to 11th place, you've got Jack Newton on the 135 bike, Ollie Pearson in 12th, uh, Soren Ramson in uh, 13th place with Luca Wilkinson in 14th, Charlie Ward in 15th place, Charlie Pearson in 16th, Harry Pell in 17th place, Hudson Cooper in 18th, and uh, again, I've got an owner of TXP uh, name, so uh, someone with no name there uh, on the grid. But uh, see, a lot of high visits on the start there. Obviously, this is one of the junior classes, so uh, parents are allowed onto the circuit course, keeping a very close eye on the young ones. But uh, as they come now, lining themselves up on the grid. But uh, hopefully, we see a great race. What's your predictions on this one, Jake? It's going to be tough to call because you've got a, a lot of very talented riders towards the sharp end of the field. George Wood is obviously in that top six, and he's going to be a, st a strong starter if he can nail the bike and charge down to the first corner. Pole position, though, no surprises. George Bowes has been looking very confident all weekend, and George Bowes is definitely going to be a hard rider to beat. If he can get into that first corner first, it's all going to be about dictating his line after that point. But keep an eye on Joe Mozzie. Joe Mozzie Mostica from that front row of the grid is obviously going to be a very staunch competitor. Third on the grid, the 54 of Tom Bond. And he's there, obviously, with Mason in uh, fourth position there, Mason Greasley. So we've got some good talent here, but it's obviously going to be those two charging to the first corner. George Bowes in the 67, and then Joe Mozimostica on the 27. And obviously, he's got uh, some very good credence there, uh, Joe, to have uh, his dad obviously helping him out there. Yeah. And he just got off the bike himself. Exactly. This is going to be an interesting race, though. Lots of great talent on the field as uh, the 54 does manage to get himself onto the bike. So let's see how it all goes. We're going to have a cracking race here as the riders are now getting themselves into position. Onto the first corner, it is going to be Bose versus Mozzi Mostica, and it's not easy to tell how that's going to go. A little, little start issue for George Bartle by the look of it, the 21 having some starting difficulties. And there's oh, a couple that? of problems as well still for Tom Bond, 54. They're having some real difficulties getting his bike up and running. Looks like they have now. So I think we're just about ready to rock and roll. Yeah, they've been told to clear off the grid now. It looks like we are ready to go. Uh, obviously, no help now at the back. We're waiting for the flags to go up. We've got a green it's flag happened again. Oh, it's no, happened it's again. again. We've got a staller again on the grid, but the green flags have gone up. He's going to have to pull the bike off the grid. He's going to have to pull the bike off the grid. They can't get him to restart. No, the marshal's waving yeah. him off. Papa Bond was desperately trying to get him started again, but it's not going to happen. What a shame. Yeah, really disappointment. But green flag goes in the racing. There's another staller. There's a 49 is stalled further back on the grid. They're waving him over. No one's managed to hit him, though. They've managed to get going. Really unfortunate start there from the 49, Ralph Croft. Well, fortunately for the other riders, they've managed to avert disaster. And now Bond has got going, albeit right at the back of the field. What a shame. So now out in front, the race leaders are putting themselves into a nice spot. Bose is your leader. Second place, Joseph Mozzi Mostica. And up to third has come Dan Stevenson. Cracking start from Dan Stevenson on the 11. He's put himself neatly there into third place. And rightly so. He's put on a really good spurt of speed at the start. Mason Greasley still there in fourth position, though. George Wood is in the mix there as well. But watch Tom Bond charge his way through from the back of the field. He's already picked off two of them. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, Thomas Bond allowed to rejoin the race. I was going to say, from the back there, as he had to pull away. Uh, but the riders crossing the line now. You've got uh, George Bowles, who's now leading the race. Uh, as you had some of the uh, drivers earlier there, Polly Richmond, who's saying good luck to George Bowles. But uh, yeah, good luck to him indeed. He's heading up fastest time of the race as well at 48.117 so far. But we, of course, only on lap one. Uh, and then the rest of your field, you've got George Bowles, Mozzie Mostica, uh, Stevenson, uh, Greasy, uh, Wood, Booth, Carter, Bartley, Newton, Wilkinson, Robinson, uh, Pearson, Croft, Bond, Pearson, Pell and Cooper. That is your grid at the moment as they're going through. But uh, we're still looking at the number 11 bike here of Daniel Stevenson on the screen. And uh, he's got uh, Mason Greasy just behind him in fourth place. These guys are very close. Uh, but the number 28 there as they go through into the Bond corner now. Now your race leader has just crossed the line. It's George Bowers. He's got a commanding lead at the moment. Gap of 4.6 seconds to uh, Mozzie Mostica. And then you've got Daniel Stevenson, uh, Mason Greasy, as I say, the two that were watching. And there's Greasy at the inside of Stevenson. 
Grizzly moving into third position from Severson there. Absolutely fantastic move. Just got him under braking. It looks like he caught uh, Daniel Severson uh, sleeping through turn one. Yeah, really nicely timed, actually, because Grizzly was able to get a good opportunity there on the inside of Stevenson. I'm not even sure that uh, Dan realized that Mason had got such a good run out of that final turn, and by the time he was on him, there wasn't really a lot he could do to respond. Uh, otherwise, that could have ended him into panic mode. But George Bowes, out in the lead of this race, he's coming over the start-finish line now. That's how far ahead he is of the rest of the field. There's Tom Bond trying to make his way through the field as he gets onto the back of Ralph Croft. So he's up into 11th place already, Tom Bond, charging his way through. He can get himself up to the top six fairly sharpishly here. But around the outside, Croft is trying to make a move of his own. And it's a little bit of a twitch and a bit of a wobble as he tries to come through around the outside of Jack Newton. And now Bond is going to go sweeping around the outside and gets into the position. This is Tom Bond driving angry, of course, uh, riding angry because he, he's not in the position he wants to be in. He wanted to be up at the sharp end. And now he's just going to cut straight through the inside of ja uh, Ralph, Ralph Croft there up to ninth position. What a shame he had those start line troubles because Bond is absolutely scything through the field. The name's Bond, Thomas Bond. <laughs> he is really flying through there, cracking start from him, obviously from the abysmal start that he had right at the beginning, but really pushing the pressure on. I actually prefer races where I've made a mistake at the start and I have to fight through the field. I don't know what it is, but I find it more fun. But uh, it's still your current order. You've still got George Bowers in the lead. Joseph Mosimostica has just gone past the line now. Uh, you've got your 46 606, uh, six, uh, six zero eight, I should say, from Bowers, still the fastest man on the circuit. Uh, Daniel Stevenson in fourth place, uh, George Wood in fifth, and you've got uh, Ruby Booth. She's in sixth place, absolutely cracking effort from her so far. Uh, Billy Carter just losing a position now. George Bartley has moved up with Thomas Bond now still in ninth place, and he's got these next two on his list. He's got uh, Billy Carter and George Bartley next on his list. Right, there's a yellow flag being waved on the way into the S's. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Have we lost a rider or is there debris on the circuit? We've got yellow flags up at the S's, so uh, it's been withdrawn now, but it was there for a long time and I couldn't quite figure out what it was for and I couldn't see a bike that had pulled off, so there it's might... It's a bit of a difficult yeah, situation no, to call. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, certainly we've got George Bowes, who's basically just been given a license to run away and hide from the rest of the field. This is lap six, and George Bowes, there he is, is currently nine seconds ahead of the rest of the field. He's just absolutely disappeared. This is absolutely fantastic. He's it, like David Copperfield. He's just, he's just charged away and hid, and no one knows where he is. He really has disappeared. Where is he? I can't even Final see him. Final turn. Final turn. There he is. <laughs> I completely lost him. There he is now across the line. Uh, so that is uh, George Bose. Yeah, he's a uh, cracking lead. Don't know how he's done that, but he's going through the back markers there. He's taken one of them. He's taken two and uh, nearly taken three, but uh, through the S's. But uh, Joseph uh, Mosimostica is now second still. Uh, he's still there with uh, Mason Greasy just behind him and Daniel Stevenson. Uh, we'll keep an eye on Thomas Bond and where he goes up. He is still up into eighth place now. Uh, George Wood still in fifth, though, and then Ruby Booth in sixth place still. And uh, watching some of the riders go through into turn one, there is a move there down the inside, trying to figure out who that is. I can't see the number on the front. It's the 54. So that is Thomas Bond. So uh, Thomas Bond moving now into uh, seventh position on my screen. I'm not sure if that was the move for sixth place. So, so after a business start, really moving up the field fast. Well, he's, he's obviously wanting to assert his ability and what he can actually do out there. So, uh, yeah, that is him up into sixth position. You're right, he has yeah. made the move on Ruby Booth. So now Tom Bond is up into P6, charging after George Wood. This is about where he was going to be in the race now. He's up to P6, and he's only got five laps, really, out there to make an impression on uh, George Wood in front of him. But he is getting the gap down pretty quickly, just to give you an idea in terms of lap times. Uh, George Wood is in the 51s. Uh, Tom Bond is uh, best lap is a 48.5, so he's a good three seconds a lap faster. Tom Bond, so he has time to get into fifth position. Whether or not he's got time to catch up to Dan Stevenson or not, I think that's debatable because they're in the 48s and 49s, except for George Bose, who's done a best lap. Would you believe it? 46.6. This kid's lightning on this bike. He is flying out there, which is why he's got a gap of nearly 12.4 seconds now. So absolutely flying around the circuit is George Bowes. Um, uh, we've got some more comments coming in. We've got Come On Billy from uh, Susan Mary Carter out there on Facebook. So uh, Billy Carter currently running in eight, uh, ninth place. 
uh, on the number 85 bike. Uh, and then uh, you've got uh, Ralph Croft just behind him on the 49 in 10th place. But you've still got your battle. George Wood now in 5th place. He's got Thomas Bond just behind him now in 6th as they're going into uh, one of the uh, S's there. They're going through the S's, and that's the gap. So uh, George Bond, uh, uh, no, sorry, Thomas George Bond, Bond, George Wood. They're trying to get my names mixed up there. Still very close, and actually he's made the move. So uh, Thomas Bond has got past George Wood into the hands hairpin. How fast is George Bowes actually going in real terms? Well, I'll tell you, because he's coming up to lap George Bartle, who's in P8. So George Bowes absolutely rocking it round this circuit now as he's got plenty of speed, plenty of ability and still pushing the bike to its limits here as he comes on to the far side. That is Ruby Booth, I think, losing out of place to George Bartle. So Bartle's got through and Booth has been lapped uh, by George Bowes. Bond is now up to fifth place. He's got George Wood, so we knew that that was coming, but he has now made the move up into P5. So a good run from Thomas Bond as he continues to scythe his way through the back markers the next one he's going to close up on is the 100 that's charlie pearson to lap it for a second time and there is the 11 of dan stevenson so actually tom bond does have enough time just to close up on and potentially pass dan stevenson and his lap times are very slow in the traffic dan stevenson he's been held up a lot so there's a good chance here that tom bond could snatch fourth place on the last lap and there he is there, so you can see the gap on the screen. You've got Thomas Bond uh, uh, now, he's on your screen. And there is Daniel Stevenson on the number 11. He's going across the line now, and just behind him, here he is, Thomas Bond on that great recovery run into turn number two now. So the gap is very close. We are still have two laps remaining. George Bowes is now getting the last lap board. So uh, George Bowes just crosses the line, which kind of shows how far ahead he's gone, as I think an exhaust has come a bit loose on one of the bikes there, because I definitely didn't hear that one sounding like that earlier. But um, George Bowes now, he's on his last lap. The rest of the riders now on their last lap, obviously losing a lap. But uh, who do you think is uh, Thomas Bond going to get? Uh, Tom Bond is right on the tail now of Dan Stevenson, and they've got just over a lap to sort this one out because George Bowes is already on his last lap. He's at the uh, horseshoe, by the way, so we'll keep an eye on this uh, battle between the two and see if Bond can catch up. But it is going to be a victory for George Bowes. He's coming into the last corner now. So yeah, George Bowes, absolutely fantastic race, flying through. Really, really good race to uh, take the checker flag very shortly. There it is. So George Bowes takes uh, first place with a commanding lead. Now we've still got to keep an eye on the battle. Yep, up now. towards Hans Hairpin. They're coming yep. up to Hans Hairpin now. So Bond is going to get onto the back of Dan Stevenson off this particular apex. So Bowes has taken the victory already. Mozzie Mostica second, no problem at all for him. Griezley third, but through the horseshoe. Bond is going to have a run up towards Buttons here on Stevenson. He's got a charge as they come up to the final turn. Here he is, right in behind him. He might get an opportunity out of the final turn, especially considering they've got some slower bikes in front of him. He's going to try and power it out. Can he keep it going down the straight? Bond is going to try. They go separate ways. Oh, Bond's he's got him. He's got line. him across Bond's the line. Bond's into the line. What a comeback ride from Tom Bond. P4, not bad at all considering he started in third. He so nearly got himself back to where he started from. Effectively, in terms of competition, he is back where he started from. What a ride. You've got to hand it to George Bowes in terms of his speed and domination. But the rider of the race, Tom Bond, to come from, well, off the back of the grid right, yeah. because they struggled he to even get the, the bike started. He was a good five, six seconds after everyone else had gone. And still, he fights back to fourth. What a mammoth effort from Tom Bond. Fantastic race, and I'm uh, sure I'll look forward to the second race on to that. Um, we are going on to the uh, next race of the... Uh